I was brought up in England by Ghanaian parents. My parents taught me that clothes were identity, precious, not at all frivolous. The pride and respect for clothing translated into me wanting to be a fashion designer. And as I was about to finish my first collection, a fire burnt my flat. My possessions and my collection left with nothing. It dawned on me once the ash settled. I realized my dream wasn't to be part of the fashion industry. I wanted to change it. Try and fix an industry that contributes to 8% of global greenhouse gas emissions. My job now is to find sustainable design solutions, to challenge the archaic industry practices that harm our fragile planet. Changing the respect we have for clothes, knowing their origins, their construction, the processes each item has gone through can help us make choices that can help stop the demand for these items. And in turn, the negative effect that we have on our planet. We don't connect our clothes with fields, farms or forests, but that's where our cottons, leathers and viscose comes from. Even our synthetics like polyester are made from non-renewable resources like oil. All the processes to make our clothes, extracting fibres, making materials, cutting, sewing, trimming them, shipping them, down to us wearing them, all impacts climate, and this impacts people. In the Western Global North, discussing the overconsumption and underutilization of clothes seems unimportant, but it presents a different reality to the Global South majority and parts of the world often most exposed to the harsh impacts of climate change, including in some of the very countries where our clothes are made. Rewearing, buying vintage, washing our clothes on a cooler temperature, and recognizing our privilege and experience, we can all have impact. We all belong in this conversation and have already been in it.